Calm down, zombies. There's plenty of me to go around. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. So, dudes, where is, for the love of God, where is our new Exo Zombies trailer at? I know it's not everybody's favorite zombies things, but I think it's fun to pass time. I like Exo Zombies as an alternative while we wait. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. It's just something to buy at the time while we're waiting. And speaking of waiting, we don't have to wait much longer for the next DLC. I know it's coming out either at the end of May or in, like, early June. So why haven't we gotten a trailer yet? What's going on, Activision slash Sledgehammer Games? I want my Himalayas map with Yeti zombies. Or just a Yeti boss. You could put regular zombies in there. I don't mind. Hey, double points. Double That'll points. do. That'll do nicely. Okay, I missed. Didn't miss that time, though. Alright, looks like these are our last guys. Now, what I want to do here, and I'm going to do it, I'm going to go ahead, while I have the points, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and get myself some claymores. Because if I don't, I'll just go keep spinning the box. So let's just get this out of the way. We'll do plenty more box spins. Don't you worry. Alright. Now we're broke. Wow! Triple! It's a triple! It's a triple! This counter, by the way, you guys, works in thirds. So when it gets to zero, the perk in the backyard, the, the power drop in the backyard over there in the shed will change. When it gets to... What is it? What is it? 99, 66, was it 33? I don't know. 66, 33, 0, something like that. I don't know. There's like three numbers. And every time it hits that number is when the power drop in that backyard changes. That's all that does. A lot of people were very confused and still are to this day. And they think that that has something to do with when the perk coal is dropped. That is not the case. I really want that. I'm going to get that. Oh, I see my ammo count was at 115 just then as I reloaded. Sweet. Sweet. Yes. Always miss when I get leet points, too. See, we just passed leet. I didn't see it. Someone pointed out in my Shangri-La video that I had uh, leet points at one point. I totally missed that. I always miss it. Yeah, I didn't know what leet was. Oh, why am I getting hit up so much? No, 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 no. I can just heal. Just heal. Just heal. Heal. You freaking thing. Oh, my God. Fight your way out of it. For the love of God. Oh, oh jackpot. Jackpot! I had to put myself in a corner, guys. If I had tried to get out of that jam while I was red screen, I would have died. So I went in the corner hoping that it would just give me just enough time to heal up. Meantime, I think our fourth park... Yeah, there it goes. Thought I heard it. Uh, so that was strategic. I did put myself in a jam, but I knew I had the LSAT, LSAT fully loaded, ready to just rip heads. So thank God. That was almost challenge over, guys. We were almost rest in peace. Almost. Well, we're, oh, oh, it's Pack-A-Punch. I see it in the window up there, guys. We got Pack-A-Punch. So we only get one Perker Cola this challenge, but if we're only going to get one Perker Cola, we got the right one, didn't we? So we got to save up, but we can Pack-A-Punch. Um, do we really need to worry about Pack-A-Punching on round 10 through, you know, the next couple rounds? I don't think so, so let's go spin the box. Let's go have some fun. We want that Mark II. Never get to play with it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll take the regular Ray Gun, although I'll probably kill myself with it, but I'll take it. Oh, we got it, man! Yes! Thank you! We don't even have to spin the box that much. So I'm pretty content with both these guns. I definitely want to pack a punch the Mark II. I think that'll be worth it. But, uh, dude, that was pretty close. We got pretty lucky to get out of that jam. I don't know if it was luck. Like I said, I did plan it. I planned it. You're gonna have to just believe me on that. That was planned. Amazing escape by lagging. But I didn't realize I was getting hit up that much by the zombies to give me red screen. I mean, I knew I was getting tapped, right? But come on! I'm getting tapped that much. Don't lie at me, game. Oh, there we go. Heal. There we go. We're fully healed again. Everything's fine. So what yard do you guys prefer? Do you prefer this one or the other one? So I guess this is green? That house looks greenish to me. When I say I'm colorblind, if you're new, I've, I've brought this up before to my to my subscriber base. But uh, colorblind does not necessarily, in everybody, mean that you only see black and white. Uh, you just have color distortion issues, and that's what I have. I have real issues with primary colors. They, A lot of them look the same to me, so... I think this is the green backyard, so do you guys prefer the green backyard or the yellow backyard? This is my baby right here, the green. Now, if you didn't know about these claymores, you're about to find out. These things on Black Ops 2 mean serious business. 
they're all dead. That just killed an entire train. That's why we need those back at Black Ops 3, man. They're just better than some... They are better than some of the things you get out of the box. And we're just talking about a Claymore that you can buy off the wall. They're better than a lot of things you get out of the box. I mean, seriously. Don't even argue with me. Don't argue with me. Don't do it. Everyone's dead. Round 12. Cool. Pack a punch. Now, the good thing about pack a punch, it's not just like a one-time buy. We can go there and pack a punch whatever we want, whatever we want. So long as we have the money, of course. Whereas Jug, I can only buy it once. That's it. Can't rebuy it. Because if I need to rebuy it, guess what? I'm already dead. So, that's a thing. Round 12, though, we're doing it. We're making progress. We're flying through this. Good fun. Good clean fun here on Nuketown. Uh, do me a favor, down in the comment section below, please do let me know what map you would like to see me play next. I am going to do a custom zombies map in between my next challenge, though, so... Uh, what you'll see after Nuketown's done is custom zombies. And then we'll do another challenge after that. Uh, that's the game plan anyways. Things are always subject, subject to change, but that's what I'm feeling right now. So let me know. Let me know what map you want to see me play. If you say transit, you're banned for life. Except I won't really ban you. And it wouldn't be for life. Just don't say transit. Those will go ignored. We'll play transit at some point. You got to keep in mind just how long people waited to see me play Shangri-La. And I finally played it. But oh, do they have to ask for a long time. You're gonna have to have to keep waiting for that transit. Can we pick up the nuke? Do, do we need to pick up the nuke? I don't think we need to pick up the nuke. I think we need to go pack a punch while there's only a couple zombies left. Let's do it, guys. We're gonna go pack a punch. The Mark II, turn it into the Mark 400. I'm sure that's what it's called. Don't question it. Do I need to, oh, I have to open something up here, don't I? But we'll still have enough. Good, good, good. I think the zombies are super sneaky and jump up the window here, so let's watch out for that. I knew it! Get away from me. I knew it. Alright, do I... Like, do we take fall damage from this height? Nah, we're good. Okay. So, Mark II Raygun has been upgraded to the Porter's Mark II. Does that say Porter? Porter's Mark II Raygun. Ooh, Max... Or, uh... Rick Toffin's talking. He's doing some Easter egg talking. Oh, I was so disappointed when these maps first came out for Black Ops 2. Not this map. This map was really cool. Very much enjoyed it when it first came out. But what I was disappointed in it was the characters. Because if you remember, you know, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, uh, or I'm sorry, World at War and Black Ops 1, you know, what did we get? We got characters that talked to us. We got cool quotes. Everything was funny. Had a story. We got this and, like, nobody was talking. Nobody was talking. And this is the first map I played the night of the release, so I'm like, why isn't anybody talking right now? Oh my god, Mark II! What did you just do? Holy crap! We just got a collateral of like 18 zombies. That was ridiculous. Do it, baby! Do it! The Roll the Dice challenge is going awesome. Drop a like, guys, if you're enjoying this challenge. That's always helpful. We're going to be gearing up on doing more and more likes. You know, I'm kind of... I don't ask for them often, and I usually wait till the video has gotten to a certain point, so you guys will even know if you like it. I never ask at the beginning, but I think because I am aspiring to be a full-time YouTuber, I would like for people to leave likes if they do like the video. Uh, obviously, that's going to help the channel grow uh, by putting the video in certain categories because of the likes. So, And that'll make the videos easier for new people to find. The, the bigger the family grows, the better off we will all be. So, if you like it, hit the like button. If you don't like it, you may also dislike. I don't. That doesn't bother me. Um, it's it's a way to know. You know, if I ever get a video with just a tons of dislikes on it, I'm gonna know I did something wrong in that video that you guys hated, and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna kind of look at it. I'm gonna say, what did I do wrong? Oh, this must be it. But well, we won't say that again, or we won't do that again. So hey, I learn from the dislikes. So if you don't like something, either let me know about it or drop a dislike. It would help if you let me know though, because it's kind of hard to tell. You know, just by the dislike. That's part of being a YouTuber, too. And you do have to take the good with the bad. And it took me a while to learn that. It did. I used to argue down in the comment section a lot. And I get a little snippy sometimes with certain people that are just plain rude. But for the most part, I ignore the haters, even though there's not many. Um, and if somebody says something I disagree with, I will just bring up my point and try to be as respectful as possible. Because I'm not trying to offend you guys, either. I know that some of us are from different countries, and your English isn't great. 
And sometimes when you say something, it could be uh, misconstrued as being rude or something. And I got to take, I got to keep that in mind too. You know, I got a worldwide audience going on around here. Okay, why am I knifing? Don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, let's use Claymore just for fun. You're my last guys, prepare to suck it. Suck it. There we go. <laughs> awesome. So I think next round, uh, do we want to, do we want to pack the LSAT? You know, the LSAT is very rare gun to play with, so I'm keeping it, man. I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to pack it. And uh, we'll play a couple rounds with it, and then maybe we'll spin and see what else we can get. Kept my on zombies, but I am thinking ahead of myself here. I'm thinking a little bit ahead of myself. i got to remember, we don't have quick revive. We make too many mistakes. That's it for old lagging. Good old lagging. Going to get ripper Where did I pick up that word from? Is that something Ali A says? I think it is. For the love of God. I'm a, I'm a pretty big Ali A fan. I don't know if you guys know that about me. But I actually really do enjoy his um, more Ali A channel. I don't really watch his, his main channel anymore. I used to. But I don't anymore. But his more Ali A channel is a lot of fun. I do enjoy that one. He plays a lot of cool games on there. And I just, I don't know. I just find his personality likable. And the games he plays are fun. So I watch Not those videos. Mind. No shame in that for me. I don't care. Also, recently, I would say about six months ago... Finally found the guy that I'm sure all of you know, Markiplier. I had no idea the dude even existed until about six months ago. Love his videos. He gets a bit loud sometimes, and you gotta be in a certain mood for that. But for the most part, I really do enjoy his content as well. How, how about you guys? Who, who are some of your favorite YouTubers that, like, whenever they post a video, you've just gotta watch it? And don't mention my name. I mean, it's fine if you do, but, like, I don't expect that. Um... I know that not everybody is like in a zombie watching mood every time I put up a video, so it's okay if you skip a few here and there. Doesn't bother me at all. But if do you have a guy that you just can't miss? Do you have anybody like that? Like I'm kind of like that with the Jimbathy. I really like his stuff. He's so freaking crazy, and it just makes me laugh every time. He always puts me in a good mood. So whenever Jimbathy uploads a video, I watch it. I don't care what the topic's about. I think that would be the guy I watch probably like must watch. So do share, do share. Let's learn about each other. Let's learn more. Because sharing is caring. Alright, at the end of this round, I guess, since I completely ignored the fact that we are on another round. At the end of this round, let's go back to the LSAT and play with it for a couple of rounds. I think we can squeeze through here. Oh, we're going to prime up this Claymore and do some work with it. So just in case you thought that Claymore was OP because I think I used it on round 12. Oh, it was only round 12. That's why it's OP. Well, watch what it does on round 16. It doesn't, it's, it doesn't, like, degrade that much, I promise you. It will probably take out all these guys. Let's see. Suck it. And there you go. There you go. There's no difference between round 12 and round 17 with the Claymore. We can do it again at round 24. It's going to do the same damn thing. It's crazy. No, Laggy, you idiot! It certainly killed off the last zombie. There's no... The round's not changing. We have a zombie somewhere. Should I be trying to pack? I'm listening to see if they're spawning in. I'm gonna stick this in. There better not be like 40 zombies about to come at me. Give it back! Okay. Get wrecked. No! Don't wreck me. Oh, I forgot it puts the target finder on there. I hate that, but I think you could double pack it. Okay. Let's go double pack it. Maybe it'll change the sight. I don't like this sight. You can't have that. Back in the machine. Oh, I'm sure I like this much more. Is that a freaking ACOG? Actually, the ACOG's not that bad. It doesn't put it all the way up to your face, so we can still see around. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll use that. Cool, I didn't know you get an ACOG attachment for this thing. It's pretty sweet. Oh, new round. Get through the house. Let's get through the house. Let's not get trapped in here. So I'm going to try to play the whole round with this gun. Although my Mark my Mark II is probably uh, much better. Mark II ray gun. But we'll see. I'm going to be a little slower with this. So if I get uncomfortable, I'm switching back over to the Mark II. Yeah, I'm definitely a little slower. It's okay. We'll rock it out. We'll rock it out. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Don't touch me again. Okay, they touched me. Oh, no. 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 The curse of the freaking LSAT. I said, let's not play with it. I'm not comfortable with it. It made me slow. Damn it. Oh, damn it. 
dropping nukes on all my hopes and dreams. Damn you, Nuketown. Don't forget to let me know what map you'd like to see me do a challenge on next. That was a fun one. I really enjoyed that. So uh, hopefully you guys did too. Uh, and as always, it's been your boy Lagan24, and I will see you uh, next time.